just arrived in Sapopan. Sapopan, whatever you call it. I honestly don't know what to record, but look at this. The train already passed. Pretty cool train uh, system. Um, look how pretty this is. Pretty cool art, huh? Just finished eating right here in this plaza. Looks like a like a little fair. There's a train passing by. I might have food in my teeth, but I just finished eating. You'll probably see the the train. It's pretty far. Um this right here is from a show called Chavo del Ocho. This one's called Don Ramon. Kiko. I forgot his name. Um, Nino. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, La Chilindrina. And right here is Chavo. Pretty good show if you're a kid. Mexican kid. So I'm on the bike again. Um, these things cost $24 a year and you get 30 minutes free every day. After that, I don't know how much I'm paying. I just pay just a ludicrous amount. But we're actually on the way to the zoo. We're to the zoo right now. Let's see what they offer. So Google Maps said it would take me about 11 minutes to get here. So I just got a bike and it took me about, about three minutes or less. All right, so I was lied to. So this is what I was supposed to see. Right, this, this. You know, a zoo. This is what it actually is. Just a, like, that is the, the entrance. There's like the little garden or whatever. And uh, that's the end. Okay, I take it all back. So, the the zoo is actually in the back. And look, look at the spider monkey. He's coming in here. He's trying to visit me. Hey. What do you think he's doing? Dude, I wanna, I'm actually planning to go like super southern of Mexico and try to meet one of the spider monkeys. They're in uh, Quintana Roo. And uh, the other one, I forgot, to be honest, I don't know, Yucatan or something. So, the zoo is actually behind these bars. And uh, it's locked. But. See, I'm locked in here. There's just no way to get in here. I'm guessing it's just temporarily. To, you can get up here. I'm gonna go ask if there's a way to get inside the zoo. So I do want to be next to those spider monkeys. All right, they told me it's been closed for a while and uh, it might take months until they open it again. So I'm gonna leave, because there's just no way, there's no reason to be here. I'll go back into the uh, bikes. Let's see where we go. All right, so not many people, uh, not many people watch the video by this long, but I'm gonna go a little, little rant. So I just, I, I hate when businesses give an excuse and they just blame COVID by the, like by 2022 like for example you know I wash my clothes a lot it's usually a an automatic service or whatever I pay someone so they can wash my clothes or whatever and at the end they all all of them give you a plastic bag right they give you a plastic bag so you can put your uh, your clothes in there or whatever and sometimes one of them be like oh because of COVID we can't give out plastic bags anymore whatever you know and then this looks like it's a public park so they pretty much don't want to I'm guessing they just they just uh, they're 
they're using COVID as um, so they just so they don't have to watch people like throw things at uh, at the uh, at the animals or whatever because you know it just costs money. So they just it's just and they just they just uh, use COVID as an excuse, which is not even the case. Oh man! So I had to make a little stop because look, this tree has roots growing from the outside. And it's not just this one. I'm liking this, I don't know, like, I don't even know where I'm at exactly. But it, oh man. <laughs> but also this tree has roots. You can't really see it, but, do that. I could have hurt my shin real bad. All right, so one funny thing is that I've been riding this bike for so long that it doesn't make sense to go back to, to put it back in the bike station in Sapopan. So I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna go my way to uh to Guadalajara. It's gonna take a while, but it just doesn't make sense to go back to Sapopan. This is still Sapopan, by the way. <laughs> it was way too sketchy. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> if you could just look at my face, I look so, so stupid. Like I was struggling <laughs> with one hand and try to get on the bike. Like I wish I could like show you how stupid I looked. <laughs> All right, so oh man, so while I'm making my making my way to Guadalajara, let me tell you something that's been happening to me a lot. So I'm Mexican American, right? Oh man, I'm tired. So I'm so I'm Mexican American, and people I have an accent. So people kept ask always ask me where are you from, and I always say Guadalajara. I mean, I say Los Angeles, and they always think every every single one of them think I'm Mexican like I, they, everyone thinks I was born in Mexico but I just reside in LA like they all think I'm like actual like Mexican born and and, 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 and in the conversation like I have to like justify multiple times no I'm in LA like oh you, you just live there no I was born there but like where are you from and like they just don't they kind of don't believe it I think it's because um even though I do oh, oh man even though I do have an accent my Spanish is pretty good so like I don't know it's like 95% native or something my Spanish is, my Spanish is good enough where people think the, the locals think I'm actually Mexican but just live in LA and then I and then I tell them, be like, nah, dude, I'm American. Like, they can literally deport me if I stay too long in Mexico. Which is uh, factually true. I can get deported if I stay too long. So, I don't know exactly where I'm going right now. It's pretty dangerous. One with one. Oh, no. I mean, riding with one hand and this bike, like, you probably, you probably haven't seen my other videos, but I have explained that this bike isn't very good. It's a city bike. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's very sturdy, but it's not, it's not loose. Like, it's not, it's not, like, very uh, comfortable. I think I'm going to stop the video here. Hope you enjoy Sapopan. Maybe I'll come back. I don't know. I would have to find a wife here though. I don't see myself really coming back unless I'm with family or something specific happens here. <laughs>